So this is a simple if else statement. Um, so a lot of times when we have a condition we want to test, we typically want something to happen um, whether it tests true or false. Um, so if you've looked at the simple if statement video, you know that we had this little bit of code where we tested to see if a number was greater than five. And of course, the way it's written right now, if it's not greater than five, the program simply finishes. It doesn't tell us anything useful. So what I want to do is I want to add some information here. I want to I add an else statement that says if, um, if the statement statement is false, do this instead. All right, and so I'm going to say else. Else is a great way to end programs. Else colon to say we're going to start block and then print. And we can just simply say user number is not more than five. That's a nice, simple, easy way to look at it. So now what's going to happen is when we run this, it'll check to see if the user number is greater than five. If it's greater than five, it's going to print more than five. If it's anything other than greater than five, so equal to five or less than five, anything other than this, if this is false, then the else statement will always run. So watch, we'll put this in, enter a whole number, I put in a 10, I put in a 10, and I say 10, that's great, that's what's supposed to happen. So let's test it with another whole number. Let's put in four. Four is not more than five. Awesome. Right? So that's a simple if statement. If the condition is true, do this. If the condition is false, do that. Else statements should always uh, be after if statements. Um, there are times where you'll use an if statement just standing all by itself. Um, but I really like else statements because else statements are a great way to deal with errors. An else statement says, if it's not true, I'm going to do this no matter what. Um, and so that's great for debugging um, and for giving users really clear information about what's going wrong. All right, good luck.